Good morning, you guys. So it's Saturday morning and we are heading out with the dogs to let them do a little bit of swimming. Ruger is finally all vaccinated so we can take him out and let him see the world and let the world see him. So we're really excited. This has been a weekend we've been waiting for for a really long time. So I figured uh, why not bring you guys along for the day. I hope that you'll enjoy um, just hanging out with us. Chris is driving. Good morning. <laughs> it's about 940 and um, Zoe had a vet appointment this morning so Chris took her and I got to sleep late so I was loving that. So we are on our way and uh, we're going to stop and get Starbucks on the way because Mama is hungry and needs her coffee. Okay, priorities have been taken care of. I have an iced lemon pound cake which is uh, really bad for you. It's like crazy 500 calories but I'm going to enjoy it anyway. And my drink which, oh they tried to get my name right. Nobody ever spells it right so that's okay. It doesn't bother me. Um, my venti non-fat white mocha with whip. Yes, I am treating myself. And then I got one for Chris too, but he has gone into McDonald's to get a sweet tea because he's addicted to McDonald's sweet tea. Not addicted, I am being dramatic, but he loves um, sweet tea. So he's gone in there to get that. He doesn't drink anything from Starbucks. More for me. This isn't Ruger's first time swimming. He did go one other time for just like 20 minutes or so, but this will be his first day of really getting to get out there and play. Buddy, what do you think? Y'all see how big my baby boy has gotten? It's crazy. He will be four months old next week. <laughs> You're doing good, Ruggie. Good boy. Yeah, you're natural. The water is so warm. Feels awesome. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? <laughs> He's a lab. He's a natural. Labs love water. On, Got a couple people over there fishing on the dock, so we're gonna stay away from them and their fishing lines. But <laughs> I think he's happy. Yeah. What do you think, bud? <gasps> yeah, you like it? So cute. Okay. It's like, is this what you want me to do, Dad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got some water. Cough it all out. So well, you've got a little bit of an advantage on him. <laughs> Go. So I'll give you guys a little bit of the background of where we are. Um, this is the Swift Creek Reservoir the closest body of water to where we live here in Chesterfield. So this is where uh, we bring our dogs to play and have swimming time and it's actually just really peaceful out here so Chris and I love coming here. Plus this um, lake, whatever you want to call it, it is a reservoir but this is um, where we got married. Over there, way on the other side of those trees was where Chris and I got married. Um, on a gazebo right on the bank of the water and so obviously this water has special meaning to us it's the start of our life together and it's where we have brought all of our dogs to learn to swim 
Um, this is an area called Sunday Park. There's a community here on the water. There's a golf course over there. There's a restaurant up there called the Boat House. Um, it's one of my favorite restaurants in the, in the, in the whole area. And um, this area here is called Brander Mill. Chris lived in this community when he was growing up. And then over there, past those docks, you can see some buildings and stuff on the other side of the water. That's called Wood Lake, and that's another waterfront community where um, we can also take the dogs swimming from there. It's more of a, a muddy beach where this is a sandy beach, so this is perfect for bringing River for his first real outing of getting to swim a lot. He's doing really well. He keeps dunking his head completely underwater. I think he thinks he's a fish, but he's doing so good. Are you happy with the way he's being, babe? Yeah. He's a good boy. He keeps us busy. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, that I haven't vlogged more showing you footage of him, but it is just, he's a non-stop. He is the Energizer Bunny. We are constantly running after him, chasing after him, taking things out of his mouth. You know, he's 100% lab puppy but he has been so much fun we love him to death as we do all of our dogs so zoe's been really good with him they get along great he adores her and we think she really likes him but i don't know that i'd say she adores him yet but she's so patient with him and they play really really well together so we couldn't be happier he's been a wonderful addition <laughs> we keep him on this long yellow 50 foot check cord just until he's fully trained just so that we, he doesn't get too far away from us Zoe of course doesn't need to be on that she is four and a half so she's she's in a pro at this and she comes back to us when we call her and we totally trust her but until Ruger's fully trained we will just make sure that he doesn't get too far away by keeping him on this check cord. Some people over there paddle boarding. Keep telling Chris I want to do that. It looks like such a good workout. All kinds of stuff going on. There's some golfers over there on the box or on the, what are they on the green? Is that a green right there, babe? Is that a golf green over there? Yeah, they just laid down the flag. Some kayakers out there going fishing. Tons of stuff going on over here. A whole bunch of ducks swimming around, some people out walking. And then you've got Zoe in the water. <laughs> You've got Ruger just chilling. I think he's tired. As soon as I say that. I'd say this was a good, positive first day of swimming for him. So we're back home now, and I think I have two sleepy puppies. What do you guys think? So he's curled up with her pillows and Ruger is about to pass out. Look at that sleepy little face. Ruger, are you tired, buddy? You had a big morning swimming? Yeah, that was tiring, wasn't it? Anyway, I thought I would show you guys how exhausted they are. I'm gonna head out here in a little bit to run some errands, and Chris is cutting grass, so just a normal Saturday. So this just happened. We have a new Ulta in my neighborhood and I went to check it out. It's the grand opening this weekend. So there's the store. I have to say, I'm impressed. Ulta sometimes lets me down and I'm not always the happiest with their customer service or their selection. But this one, I don't know if it's just because it's grand opening weekend, they were on point. 
like really well prepared, very helpful. Sales girls were great. Um, I was constantly being checked on to see if I needed anything. So if you live in Chesterfield, which obviously most of you don't, but the new Ulta at Commonwealth 20 shopping center is pretty awesome. I'm happy and it's going to be dangerous because this is 10 minutes from my house instead of having to drive like 20 minutes. <laughs> so um, anyway, yeah, a haul video to come. I can't show you guys what's inside right now because some of this is gifts for people who might be watching. So um, yeah, stay tuned for a haul. It's 2.12 and now I'm going to head over to Target and grab a couple things before going home.